What is up, MMA fans? This is Tudor Leonte for Sure Dog here. And today I have the pleasure to talk again with UFC fighter, Mr. Vince Morales. Welcome back on Sure Dog, Vince. How are you today? Doing good too. Thank you for having me, man. It's a, it's a good Monday. <laughs> I agree with you. Have you watched UFC 269 uh, recently? Yeah, I did. We, we missed the first, like, a. Uh... The first half of it or so so uh yesterday we spent the day catching up man there were some good fights on that actually i heard your picks before the event and awesome. there was one in particular that struck me the most and it was uh you know you picking paiva over omali i, I, uh, I figured it would. that was one reason i was i was kind of going with that pick <laughs> <laughs> may i ask you why uh, well, so w when, when I was breaking down the fight and talking with, uh, with, uh, a few of my teammates about it, I was saying if O'Malley doesn't finish him in the first round, then I think it'll lean towards Paiva as it goes on, but there's a good chance O'Malley's going to finish it in the first round. But I thought my, I thought it would, I thought it'd make for some interesting conversation if I was picking Paiva. So went with Paiva. <laughs> oh, no worries. No worries. I mean, I actually, it was one of the toughest UFC cards, at least for me to, to pick on. I guess uh, I had just four picks uh, right out of 14 fights. There were 13 fights that I saw. For me, it was like one of the craziest nights in the UFC this year. Uh huh. I agree. I think I got, I did, I did, I, did, I think I went three and three because I only, I only picked for three. No, I went, oh, I went three and four because I picked for seven fights. The last, the last seven fights I picked off and then. Yeah, I did. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, may I consider that uh, you are fighting in the Bentaway division? I'd like to ask your opinion on the O'Malley fight. Uh, I thought it was good. O O'Malley does he does a lot of uh, a lot of subtle but really good and effective things. I think uh, he he manages his range well. He he faints a lot. He picks clean shots. Has good delivery. As long as he's moving forward, he punches with good power. Um, yeah, I was I was pretty impressed. I thought he thought he did some good stuff. Uh, Paiva just felt like was a step was a step behind early on, and and I, he, he's kind of a slow starter too. So I think he needed maybe a more mellow first round, and then he gets going. But but yeah, I thought it was good sh good showing for O'Malley. I mean, he, he looked good. I think he he's probably fighting somebody ranked next. I'd imagine. I also read some of your tweets. Uh, you know about that. And it seemed to me that you are pretty down to face him. Is that right? Oh yeah, of course. I think uh, I think eighty percent of the bantamweight division really is, or eighty percent of the of the uh, what's the word I'm looking for of the quality bandweights in the division are, are are down for it. I think I think it's a good uh, it's a good test for most people, and I think he needs to be tested. So, may I ask your honest opinion on, on him? Do you believe the hype? Uh, or do you think that he's overhyped? I think I think he's got a very good fundamental skill set. I think uh, I think his personality gets him a little bit more favor than his skill set does, though. I think uh, it, it's one of those. He's kind he's kind of in in between. He's somewhere in between, and we and we don't really know. And I think that's why that's why there's so many bantamweights that that really want that fight is because th they they kind of don't know what to make for him. And. Um... Uh, did you have the chance to catch Dominic uh, Cruz's uh, fight? Yes, that was a great fight. Um, mm. What do you think about that? Uh, I think uh, I, I, I was picking Munoz in that one, and I was thinking he was going to he was going to find a way to finish him or at, at least at least catch him more. But Cruz is obviously a hard guy to hit, and uh, as he gets more and more in his groove, he gets more and more effective. I think that's why that's why Munoz looked good early. But if you don't get if you can't get him out of there like the way Henry Cejudo did, then you're probably looking at getting poked and prodded for the rest of the fight. And yeah, it was it was an exciting fight. It was a good fight. I enjoyed that. Hey, I agree with you. Enough talking about other people's performances. You are actually coming off a pretty impressive performance uh, as you became the first fighter to stop Luis Smolka with punches. Uh, you told me before that fight uh, that you felt he was the right name to bring, you know, the dog 
out of you. <laughs> you told me that. Uh, are you satisfied with the result? Uh, I a, a little bit, um, partially. I wanted it to go a little bit longer and see what else we, we could kind of pull out because I, I was really expecting, um, because he hadn't been finished with stripes, and I was really expecting we were going to have to slug it out for a little bit. Uh, I ended up just kind of finding my my range a little early, which which is good. Which which I mean works for me. Is as soon as I get there, people are gonna they're gonna get they're gonna get hurt once I get in my groove. So um, I happen to get him get in the groove pretty quick, and uh, yeah, it ended well. I was I was pretty happy with it. I I really felt for Smoker though. I mean, uh, like, like we mentioned before, he's a he's a teammate of of my cousin and. He's he's a good dude. Like I like I like Smoka. That was a no. Hope he's doing all right and everything. I, I sent him and his coach, uh, or I sent his coach a message rather, just saying that uh, it was an honor to kind of be in there with him. Somebody who's had like the 15 US UFC fights that he has, but just sending good vibes. Uh, did you get an answer? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. He's, uh, his coach was just telling me keep improving and keep looking good, and uh, and hopefully I can make make my way over there one of these times and get get some more work working with those guys. Uh, you told me that uh, while you never trained with uh, Smolka directly, you actually, you know, were there at his uh, team. Um, yep. Did he do uh, anything that you didn't expect from him that night? Um, no, that was kind of that was kind of what I was expecting. He, I knew he was going to come for it. I knew he was going to try to be in my face. Uh, I knew kind of right off the bat, I had landed a two really stiff, hard jabs. And I remember thinking in the in the fight that uh oh this might not go as long as I thought I just uh, it, it just didn't react in, in a way that I that I thought was going to be good for him um, I thought it was going to be good for me the way he reacted and and I was kind of right in that sense um, the only thing he did that didn't I didn't really expect was try to work the try to work the clinch so early I thought that'd be something later on and he'd have me up against the cage doing that versus uh kind of out in the open. You finally scored that much coveted finish inside the octagon, inside the UFC. How do you feel about that? I'm uh, grateful, man. I, I, I still, I was going into this fight with the same mentality I was in the Draco Rodriguez fight, thinking my back's kind of up against the wall because prior to this, all my fights have been to decision. I've had my moments, but they haven't been the, uh, haven't been in my mind, haven't been like, haven't been showing my best my best case for for being in the UFC for being uh for being for showing that I belong and I wanted to kind of put some of the division on notice and the next person I fight I want them to really know that like uh oh this is something different like uh Vince is kind of a dangerous guy I'm I, you know I was I tweeted about it I was the only one at Sherdog to pick your fight your victory sorry for that fight okay. and i'm pretty proud of of, of that oh, let's go <laughs> i love it uh did you have that beer to celebrate your victory uh one too many maybe <laughs> 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 i had i had some family come to town and uh and they they were all waiting at the house for me and uh i went back to the to the host hotel had a beer there went home and they had bottles of liquor waiting for me and beer and pizza and there was just too much of everything <laughs> <laughs> well i believe it, it it was it was well deserved at any rate uh but i have to ask you here was it you know a normal one or uh did you have the chance to do a shoey <laughs> Oh, I wanted I wanted the shoey. I should have done the shoey. That's a man that, that's tied to a boss thing. I really wanted to go to the event. Uh well, I didn't end, I didn't end up making it, but I really wanted to go and uh watch him fight just so I could be just like feel the honor of sharing a shoey in the same arena with him. Because that's a <laughs> I love that. That's a, what a great gimmick he has. That's dope. I have to convince someone because after uh, Trivaza won that fight, two of my colleagues are at Sherdog did it on a post event uh, you know show and i have to convince someone someday to do it with me perhaps next time i feel you're the right <laughs> yeah, let's go i'm all for it sign me up um so but listen um you asked for nathaniel wood in the post fight interview did you get any feedback on that i haven't heard nothing from it yet uh, unfortunately I, i did find out that he had just signed He just signed a fight. Somebody, somebody, I, I think it's on. I don't think they've announced anything. I, I, it was a picture of him signing a contract. So I'm assuming he's got a fight. But uh, 
I, I did. I did. I found that out afterwards, and uh, I was hoping it was me, but I haven't heard anything about it. So we'll see. But uh, would you still be interested, you know, in traveling uh, overseas to fight at the allegedly uh, UFC event in London? Yeah, I, I would love that. That's uh, one place I haven't been yet in MMA and UFC and fighting. It's kind of taken me all over. I mean, I've been to Beijing, or Beijing Canada, uh, parts of the States that I didn't know I was going to be. I didn't think I'd ever be living in Las Vegas. Like uh, MMA is taking me everywhere. Why not take me to London? That's one of the beautiful sides of <laughs> your job. Um, Absolutely. We are now in the holiday season. Um, I would like to ask you, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Uh, the Grinch, dude, with Jim Carrey. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that movie. I, I'm, a, I'm, not the, I'm not the biggest Christmas person, so uh, okay. my girlfriend always says that that one's me. So my way of getting in the <laughs> holiday spirit is getting in a Grinch spirit. So. <laughs> Okay, that, that's a pretty good movie, actually. I, yeah. I like it uh, very much. Um, what are your resolutions for 2022? Uh, so I'm still working on, a, on, on the details of them, but the, the main part of it, I'm trying to have three fights. I'm trying to have three wins. Um, hopefully that means by the end of that, I'm looking at either that third fight being a, a, a ranked opponent or I'm now in a ranked or... I have that third fight, and then my next fight's a, a ranked opponent. I'm trying to break into that top 15 um, at the end of the year or beginning of 2023. So, I mean, the sooner the better, but I'm trying to be realistic. Well, sir, hopefully, uh, you know, your your wishes will come true. Uh, before I let you go, do you have any last message? Um, I don't know if you had seen anything on my uh, – I posted some of it on my, on my Instagram as well, but I was doing uh, – Vinbedded? Did you see any of those? Those little like minute long TikTok videos? I thought that was very cool. I just started doing those for. Uh, I think I'm gonna do those for every fight camp going forward, and I might start doing a few other little little video things. But you can find them all on my social media. So they're, they're all the same at Vendetta135. So if you're looking to get a hold of me, I recommend everybody checking those out and uh, have some good content on there here real soon. Sir, it was a pleasure. Congratulations on your recent victory once again. And uh, hopefully I will hear again from you in 2022. Oh yeah, just let me know too. It was good talking to you, man. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye-bye. All right, you too. See ya.